it is now 701. And um, this is a meeting of the uh, OBNC Rec and Park Committee, Tuesday, October 11th, uh, and it's 701. Um, we have a, a, a quorum. Um, uh, I'm Jim Stein. We, oh gosh, let me get rid of this thing just a moment. I'm Jim Stein. Uh, everybody, um, everybody else want to introduce themselves? Um, oh, I am Ruth Doxy. Lake Balboa Neighborhood Council. What is a quorum for this committee? For this, for this meeting, it's three. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, Nate Baggio. Linda Gravani, Lake Balboa Neighborhood Council President. Um, and uh, we've got Danica uh, Middleton, who's also a board member. She's the 223 number. That you may see as an attendee. Good evening, Linda Schwering, Lake Balboa Neighborhood Council, treasurer and part of this uh, RAP committee. Glad to be here. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, tonight's meeting is, is gonna be uh, uh, hopefully short and sweet because um, uh, uh, several things. Um, uh, one, the first item on the agenda or, uh, was not going to be, or it's not the first, it's actually the, um, the fourth item on the agenda is going to get pushed out because Miriam is not feeling well. Um, so having said that, we've all introduced ourselves. Uh, um, and uh, I'm going to make a motion to uh, approve uh, tonight's agenda. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Um, we'll go around the rhyme here and, and find out if we have any votes for that. Um, uh, Nate, you vote yes or no? Yes. Uh, Linda Schwerin. As amended. As amended. We amended it? As oh. amended. I'm sorry. It was amended because of uh, item four getting pushed out. So, um, uh, uh, Linda, you move. You move to. I, I move to approve tonight's uh, agenda, October eleventh, twenty twenty two, as amended. And, and Linda S seconded. Linda S seconded. Nate, you still you still in favor of approving it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Linda Schwering. Yes. And Ruth. Yes. Okay. So the agenda is approved. That's that's item one. Uh, or that was item two. Item three is the minutes uh, from August. And while you were while everyone was trying to come in. I was trying to figure out how to share things and I was unsuccessful at that. Can anyone help me with that? Yes, I can help you with that. Thank you. No, let's see. Okay, I can, gotta open them up first. Okay. It's uncomfortable. I'm not gonna do it that way. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, the the minutes are are up. Uh, of course, the meeting was recorded, and these were transcribed transcribed by Katie. Um, 
I've looked them over. Uh, if anyone has any changes, please let me know. I scroll down. Well, I'm gonna make a motion to approve the minutes. Uh, do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, seconded by Ruth and uh, Nate. Yes. Uh, Linda Schwering. Yes. Ruth. Yes. And I vote yes. So the minutes are approved and we're gonna move on to item number uh five uh, item number five which would have been uh, which is actually item number four because four is getting pushed out um this is regarding the jesse owens grand opening event um the discussion certain things have happened um we're gonna have the flyers redone to reflect certain changes um that everyone's aware of no, you need to make sure everybody is aware, please. Okay, I was trying to avoid talking about that, but um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna change the flyers to um, uh, instead of showing uh, uh, that the um, that the uh, event is going to be attended by uh, Council President Nuri Martinez. Instead, it will say. Um, Instead, we'll have a city of LA logo and sponsored by CD6. Uh, Kristen is, is creating it, so I don't have one to show you yet. Um, outside of that, uh, it appears that uh, I got a phone call from Wayne Neal from Rec and Parks, and he's telling me that it's, uh, it seems to be unclear whether the uh, playground will be finished. So we're going to have this event as a picnic in the park and uh, with the, with the uh, food and the um, uh, every, everything else that was, that was on there, the um, uh, promotional stuff and, and so forth. Um, Could I jump in for just a second? Yes, please. Um, so that everybody is on the same page and understands uh, what's happening is that we got approval from the, the city clerk for the expenditures. We got approval from Rec and Park for the permit. Hmm. Everything was a go for October 29. And then Rec and Park contacted Jim and said, we're pulling the permit. And Jim said, huh and so uh they are <laughs> well something like that that's what i say so too we are uh renegades uh and we have decided that the date has been selected um and the reason i believe and you can you know jump right in jim because i'm i'm repeating what was told to you but the reasoning was that the um uh, park is not going to be completed um, and then there's a, a lot of back and forth saying, well, I didn't approve the, the date of the park, the, the opening. And yes, you did, Wayne. Um, but uh, there's a lot of uh, he said, she said, and the general manager of the Department of Rick and Parks is saying, pull the, pull the permits because the park is not going to be completed. After all the work for the past two years, it was determined or will be determined uh, tonight. Uh, shall we go on and have a picnic in the park or shall we uh, not? Um, Sorry, fill, yeah. it, fill in the blanks, Jim. <laughs> well, uh, uh, the general manager seems to be concerned that they're going to be embarrassed because it's not finished. 
Uh, in my eyes, they've had every opportunity to finish it. Uh, Wayne, Wayne worked with us when we set up that date. Um, they're not even making any attempt to finish it now. And yet, clearly they have, they have time, they're, but they're not doing anything. Uh, and so um, I was told by the general manager that uh, this is last week, that we could do a soft opening. And that is that it's not completely finished, but we could do, you know, uh, but we could have, have our event there. And now they've come oh. back and said, no, you can't do that. And they're trying to put the burden on Wayne. He's trying to put the burden on us. Uh, so yeah, the playground's not gonna be finished, but we're going to, we're going to have our, our gathering and, uh, and if they're embarrassed, that's not our problem. Uh, because ultimately this is a community's event and we have permission from the city clerk, which is very difficult to get, uh, to, um, to pay the vendors to, to have our gathering. And so we're gonna move forward. I asked, I asked Wayne, I said, can you give me a firm date? And he said, uh, maybe mid-November or maybe mid-February. Oh, that kind of stuff, I can't, I can't work. It, uh, you've got to give the clerk 90, uh, a, a firm date and then work 90 days from that. So if they keep going like that, we wouldn't have any kind of event until um, next summer. Which would be after our election. Yeah. <laughs> You've got hand raised, uh, Jim. Yes, I do. I got to figure out how to. Oh, hang on. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. At me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I'll lower my hand. <laughs> I'll raise it in a minute. Okay. Um. Well, I, I have Ruth has a hand up. Yes. So I just want to understand that so we do not have a permit to have the event is that right so they had the we had the permit and then they took it away so we don't have a permit but you want to go ahead with the event because of all the dates and all the we'd have to redo everything for the uh, buying all the things buying the food and all that stuff we'd have to redo all of that and but the kids aren't going to be able to play on the playground so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent. I don't know if, if you don't have the permit, I'm not gonna, we can go ahead and do it because I there was that email from Jennifer Friel saying if you don't have a permit, she wasn't going to do this, that and the other. And yeah, so. uh, we, we have permission. We have permission from the city to have a, um, a gathering, if you want to call it a picnic or whatever in the park. We have that. Uh, um, they're saying we, we don't have permission to um, use their playground because it's not ready. However, I looked at the documents that they sent to us. I, I, unfortunately, I can't get Jonah or anybody else online because of all the issues that are happening downtown. They're not answering their phones. Um, but the documents that they sent to uh, Viana and to Jonah and to us Clearly, they signed off on showing that we could we could gather, we could have food, uh, we could uh, we could have music, we could you know every everything that we want to do, we could do. Except surprise, surprise, they were unable to finish their playground, and they're trying to they're trying to say, well, that's our fault that the playground isn't finished. Well, the playground actually is finished uh because it was done by an outside contractor and outside contractors don't get paid unless the things are finished uh what's left to be done is is supposed to have been done by public works and rec and parks it's a matter of landscaping and cleaning up the restroom and then taking the uh the the uh um the fence down and they're making no effort to do that and I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't uh, find any way of 
forcing them. Uh, so we'll just have our, our gathering and if maybe this will push back on him. He, if, if what he says is true and they could theoretically finish this by mid-November, then if they pull their trucks out there, they could finish it by October 29th, but they aren't even trying. They aren't even trying, so maybe this is our way to push back. Uh, I hope that answers the question. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't. Will know the children well. be able to play? On they the can playground? play, but not on not on the playground. Unless something happens to me now and then, the playground's going to be fenced off. Oh, that doesn't. Well. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of having the event. Yeah. I mean, it seems to me to have the event is to get everybody excited to play on the playground. And so my my concern is that if you, you know, I didn't know that the playground wouldn't be able to be played on. We didn't um, know that till today either. Okay. So, I mean, if, if, if that's the case, if that's the case, then um, uh, what did I want to say? If that's if that's if that's the case, then um, it might like wreck and park. If we have the event, then there's no urgency for them to finish it because we already have the event. They could oh. take years before finishing it. Well, let's, let's certainly hope not. I apologize, but I don't know who I'm talking to. Danica. Oh, it's Danica. Oh, it's Danica. oh, I'm sorry. Danica, that doesn't sound like you. Sorry, I'm, I'm in the truck coming oh, home from soccer. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, and, and, and Jennifer mentioned that earlier today, too. And her concern was that a lot of people might just say, stay away because, well, what's the point? There's no playground. Hopefully, there's, a, there's enough stuff going on at this. Uh, thing uh, that uh, that there's a reason for people to come, um, and uh, and it certainly works to the community's ad ad advantage because um, uh, having things there helps to keep the park clean and in use. And this has really been a huge problem for a couple of years. Um, so uh, I'm sorry, but Jim, I've lost the hands, track of who's next. Jim, yes. when you look at the the, the panelists, yes. the hands are raised in the order in which they're raised. I see. Uh, Linda, your hand is raised first. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a couple uh, trains of thought on this. The number one concern that I have is that the funding was approved because of an event. Is there going to be any issue with getting the money for the event? I don't think there is because an event is a very broad term and we have the document and it has all the things that we want to and intend to do and none of those things on that document that they agreed to include playing on their playground maybe okay. that's why they agreed to it but okay perfect uh the other thing is is that uh we can see all the community stakeholders and we can say hey this is the reason why we need your voices we need your voices to say hey city listen to us we want the park open and now you're giving us a lame excuse as to why it's not going to be open because you're going to be embarrassed. It doesn't work. So sign up and uh, join the neighborhood council. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Stacy. You're next. Thank you. I, my mind is blown as I'm sure all of yours are at this point. 
Um, but nothing surprises me anymore. I knew it wasn't going to be whatever the timeline was that we talked about months ago. Uh, it just sounded too good to be true. Um, and I'm not a pessimist, I'm a realist. <laughs> um, but it seems, especially in light of all of the controversy in these last few days, and the fact, I mean, it's, you know, obviously we are in CD6. I'm not sure if it makes sense to go further rogue and how that would reflect on the board and our community. So just something to think about there. I mean, I will support you guys, you know, whatever you decide to do, but I think that's an important thing to consider that there's a broader context right now. Thanks. Uh, the only thing I think I would say to that is that um, the date was chosen uh, way back. Wayne was part of that decision-making process. Uh, I talked, the, the major thing that was happening in that park was, uh, uh, other than cleaning it up, was the, uh, the playground construction. And uh, that was done well within the timeline that they gave us. And we, in fact, moved the date, out, our potential date out a full month because Nuri wanted to be there. Now, it, as it turns out, that's not going to be an important issue at all. Um, uh, Jim, Jim, wasn't this also supposed to correspond with the Lake Balboa, the Welcome to Lake Balboa signage, too? Lake belt, a welcome to Lake the, the big, signage. yeah, the big welcome, yeah, wasn't that well, supposed to be happening? Uh, that Thank not you. really, that just coincidentally that was supposed to have been done. And unfortunately, I can't get anybody from CD6, uh, they haven't joined our meeting, and um, and they uh, and they're not answering their phones. They, I think they put their thing on permanent message machine or something. Um, well, they're probably also not sure if they still have a job. No, they have a job because they work for the city. Mm. We can't go um, off track. Yeah, I was going to say, we can talk about that later. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Let's see. Um, we're, we're, as I think I said earlier, we're modifying this, the flyers, you know, because of changing times. Uh, you know, I, I did say that. Um, so we have more hands raised. Uh, Nate, you want to respond? Sure. Thank you, Linda, Jim. I, I guess um, if, if these questions can be answered, it, do we have any degree of confidence that if we applied for a permit in mid-November um, or getting a permit later on, I know they're not easy to get, if we did postpone this, um, what challenges would we face in your experience doing this a lot longer than I have to get another permit? Uh, the other part of it is um, we need a completion of the park date because we don't wanna just pick another permit date and then kids are staring, staring through a chain link fence at a park they can't right. use. Um, and can we apply pressure as a council or as a committee um, to, to light more of a fire under them you know, through a communication campaign to the, you know, highest levels of city government here in LA. The other part of it is, you know, uh, Linda, to your point, if we had an email campaign to the community so they could compound our frustrations with what this is through, you know, letting them know who they should be sending emails to and just, you know, inundate our elected leaders with, you know, the city manager to, you know, don't stop. I mean, this is a, a squeaky wheel kind of town. Do we have any level of confidence that if we did postpone that we wouldn't have difficulty getting a permit at a later date? I'll, I'll try to answer some of those questions, but that was a lot for me to remember. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, I packed uh, a lot in there. Sorry. Um, no, I have no guarantee that they'll ever give us a permit. And one of the reasons being is because technically they're not even supposed to give permits for Jesse Owens Park. Uh, the only reason we're being allowed to use it is because CD6 got involved and said, 
please allow us a special permit for this event. These guys have been working on it for two years. And when, and it kept going back and forth and back and forth, as you probably already know. And then Jonah called down there and 30 minutes later, we had approval. Okay. Um, I, I asked, I, I tried to be fair here. And I asked Wayne, I said, can you give me a firm date? And he said, maybe mid-November, maybe mid, maybe mid-February. <laughs> yeah. So, and he's already told us the end of October, which means his dates mean nothing. Right. Um, yeah. says I'm, he says he has a concern that the restroom's not ready. I says, the restroom hasn't been ready for two years. How's that going to stop you now? And, and I guess the other question is, is have the vendors that we have approved payment for, for the refreshments, do we have any idea if they've already incurred expenses getting ready for the event that we've notified them that we want to provide refreshments they, because if we postpone and they've already bought you know items you know they're going to carry that in their their budget and that that's not fair either right we have a contract or not really a contract but an agreement which i guess is like a contract but uh we have an agreement and we have permission to to pay money and and pay these uh, pay these vendors. That's one thing that I can tell you for absolutely certain. We have that from the city clerk. All right. I know I've missed something that you asked. There was about five things. I, I just wanted to know in your in your experience if we applied pressure to all levels of city government, it, it, do you think that would make a difference? I don't, I tried doing that. Um, okay. I, I tried working with, uh, when, when I had Jonah and Viana, they were very, very helpful. I told you about the 30 minutes later thing, but yep. I, I can't get a hold of them now. And so I tried working, uh, with, uh, with Wayne. I tried working with the, with the general manager of Rec and Parks, uh, and what they agreed to was a soft opening, which means a soft opening to them was going to be they're going to take the fence down and let people use the playground because the play, playground is ready except for one thing. It doesn't have the swings up. And the only reason it doesn't have the swings up is because uh, as an inspector, I can tell you this already. They don't put the swings up until it's the last thing. It's a safety issue. Okay. So the the uh, um, the contractor who put the playground in it's completely ready and as soon as the as soon as the guy comes out there to tear that fence down that guy's going to come out it's out there with a socket wrench and and finish putting up swings that's all that's left to be done the surfacing is finished everything is finished the the restroom's not finished the fence is still up obviously it would have to go um and they need to, and this is a, a time consuming issue, they need to pour some concrete to put those uh, tables on, but they're making no, no effort to do any of those things. But a soft opening to rec and parks would be take the fence down, put up the swings, clean up the, clean up the restrooms. Um, and then, and then take care of the, take care of the tables later on if they can't get to them because concrete has to cure. But then they changed their mind, decided to push back on Wayne, Wayne decided to push back on us and said, hey, you can't do this thing at all. And okay, Ruth has a today. question. Ruth right. has her hand raised, then myself yes, and then Danica. Go ahead. Um, so you keep saying clean up the bathrooms. I haven't been to the park, so I don't know. Are the bathrooms functioning? Uh, I don't know that they, they've been locked up. They, no, they had, no, okay. uh, I, no. I, I, I suppose you really had to go. I suppose you'd use it. Uh, the, the place has been, um, the place has been locked up because of homeless people oh. using it for drugs, et cetera. And so all the gates and everything have been locked up for, for over two years. So the bathrooms was, are locked. Right. Locked, it was Brecken okay. Park's intention to 
clean them up, replace the fixtures, paint them, and they'd be ready to go. But uh, they they made no they've made no visible effort. Well, so that leads to another question. So if the bathrooms aren't usable, what would people use on the day of the 29th? Are we going to get a porta potty? We don't. That wasn't Maybe part of Wendy's. it, was it? <laughs> what are good people going to do? <laughs> Go home, I guess. Huh? Maybe Wendy's. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm sorry. I wish I had a better answer for you. I, I think I told Jennifer this earlier. Uh, they're pushing on me or on us. So this is kind of our way of pushing back on them. We're saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. So maybe you guys ought to send a truck down there. This is a big city. If they want to do something, they can get it done. But the, they, they haven't even shown up. I mean, we talked about the restrooms. And they said, no, we can't do it. And then oddly enough, two days later, they were fixing the restrooms at Louise. What's that all about? Anyway, um, Linda G, you have your hand up again. Yes, I do. Um, to answer Nate's question, yes, I think we can get a permit. Um, and I do believe that, yes, we need to go high enough, as I've said to you, Jim, many times. Um, I think, uh, I don't believe that children would be so excited to see a new park uh, and uh, uh, activities that they can partake in, but their nose is pressed against the glass. So for me personally, I would like to see that the park is ready for everybody and there is a grand opening and say, hey, this is what the community has done. Um, as opposed to say, well, you know, it's it's only half done and because we have the date, uh, let's go ahead with it. Um, I know the frustration of that, but for me, if I were to bring my kids to the park and say, hey, you can use this maybe in February it's kind of not the right thing to do. Um, but yes, I do believe that if we push hard enough to the right people, it can happen. Um, I won't guarantee it, but uh, I, I think we need to put pressure on the people that can make it happen. Unfortunately, at this particular moment, uh, there is no pressure that we can put on them because they're, they're declining to work with us. And for, I guess, good reasons for them, uh, uh, they don't want to uh, look bad to the community. But again, if concrete has to be poured and it's not poured um, and we can't make them pour it, what are we going to do? Yes. Um, I, uh, I well, kind of this is one of the reasons why when I when I first saw this message from Wayne, my call was not to him. My my call was to was to CD6. And I made several calls there today. And unfortunately, they're not they're not uh, answering the phone and they're not they're not returning any of my messages. Uh, that would be that would be a, a good way for us to potentially have because look how quickly they got that thing within 30 minutes that could potentially we could we could have this thing done but we don't we don't have anybody talking to us there and i can't i can't seem to do anything about that uh linda, linda swearing Part of my concern uh, also is with regard to use of the facilities at the park. So do I understand, Jim, that if we proceed, uh, the park itself, the grass and the park area are available to us, but the playground with the equipment and the restrooms are fenced and that is unavailable? Do I understand that correctly? Yes. Okay. Uh, that would make pretty much a major right-hand turn for what we had planned for this event. So my concern would be considering all the time, like you said, over two years and all the effort, could we still pull this off and make it something positive for the community? I don't know. 
Question mark. Um, it, it's uh, uh, yeah. I hope I'm hoping we can. It's more than just the. Uh, uh, it's it's more than just the the playground issue. Uh, um, a, a lot of individuals uh, went to a lot of trouble to get um, to get folks to donate some very expensive items for the uh, for the. Uh, it's not. It's not. I always forget what they call it. It's not a raffle. What's it? Opportunity called? drawing. Opportunity drawing. Um, and uh, we may lose those. Uh, and they're actually, from my understanding, thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And that, that, would, that would really hurt. Uh, a lot of people went to a lot of work with that. Um, so uh, look, in, 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 the worst in the worst case scenario, the community right around there will be there, even if it's just for the picnic. The community right around there will be there, and and they'll be happy because that. Uh, I don't live right there, but I think I think um, Jennifer and Nate can tell you they be just thrilled to just see this park being used as it was intended to be used even if it's not a playground at the moment. Um, Stacy, you have your hand up. Yeah, Jim, I can feel your heartbreak right now, just in the tone of your voice. Um, and I just wanted to recognize that and, and say that I think, you know, to piggyback on what Linda Schwering just was mentioning, you know, can we? I think it's actually beyond a, a can I don't, I don't I don't think it's a could I think it's a should at this point and I think you know all of the people who have put so much time and energy into this for these last several years uh, in a way I think the the pride of a finished product will be more um Kind of a, a a greater thank you to them, and and will shine on those efforts more than kind of a halfway done, you know, not quite sure where we're at and when it's ever going to get finished, you know, situation. And then my other concern too is if this is a non permitted event, does that mean it is no longer covered by you know like city insurance and liability? I'm always thinking about risk, and if yeah. something were to happen is there coverage for that and who would be responsible? So thank you. It is, it is covered. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a special permitted event. That's in specific, I didn't make that word up. That's what it says on the permit, special permit. Oh, I believe you. I just didn't, I thought that the permit was pulled, so. Oh, no, what they're trying, to do, they're trying to do is modify their permission. They're trying to modify their permission and say, uh, yeah, we gave you that, but that's not what we meant. Linda Schwering. Am I unmuted? Yes, I am. Okay. So based on what I'm hearing so far at, at the meeting, it seems that uh, we might the committee might want to go forward with this even with the obstacles that, that we've now had before us. Uh, and if that's the case and we do proceed, then how would the park space be used? We have certain areas that would be off limits. We have areas that would be available to us. Um, I think I have an uh, a template somewhere that I could share if anybody wants to, but I do believe that it would be important for the committee to have uh, a better picture of the park and the area 
that would be available for the event use? Uh, yes or no? Uh, yeah, I, um, that was drawn up by uh, Katie, I think, and, and that can change as needed. But uh, the space that's going to be available to us is already there. It's, uh, it's a, a big wide um, walkway that uh, kind of meanders from, from White Oak to, uh, to Jellicoe. Um, uh, Can we see this? I don't know how to share it. I'm sorry. Uh, is it the template that you provided for tonight's meeting? Yes, yes. Uh, I might share it if you'd like. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can. I'm looking for, okay, share screen. I'm sorry this is not clear. It's the best that I was able to do. Yeah. So we're just seeing black, Linda. You're seeing black? Yeah. Oh there oh. it is. No, there, there we go. go. Oh, okay. Uh, um running running rather if everyone's looking at it, you're running rather diagonally from the uh about near the middle of the park. And yeah, if you follow that hand, um, where the uh, um, where the uh, little red teardrop is, that's the restroom, and that's locked up. The um, the play structure in the middle is labeled play structure. It's fenced. Uh, we were going to try and put the vendors and ourselves and CD six, uh, assuming they uh, hopefully they come uh, along that diagonal path it's wide and it's 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 rather wide and it's wide enough for many people to walk up and down and and go from from um uh pop-up to pop-up table to table and uh i hope hopefully um uh so those the where it says humble be and the door prize and LBNC and cookies, they may move around a little bit, but, but pretty much they're going to be along that, that uh, diagonal path from near the middle of the park toward the restroom. That's, that's, that's where we're gonna be. Now, people may gather out in the, in the, uh, in the fenced area and so forth. And, um, and you know, it's the park is clean. I, I, I mean, I, I see a lot of things on Nextdoor saying, oh, that park's been such a mess for two years or three years or four years. Yeah, it has. I can say this, it, it hasn't been since Jonah got involved. It hasn't been, it's been, it's been clean. We're hoping to keep it that way. And that's one of the things, bringing people in and making them aware of it will, hope, will hopefully help to keep it that way. The more, the more um, community people come there and use the park as it was intended to be used and are aware the park is there, you know, it's not going to become a, um, a, a littering spot or what have you. That's the goal. That's our hope. I hope that I answered some of your questions. Oh, yeah, I, ha I have a question, Jim. The, the area that, that shows here that's out of the little bubbles, uh, I'm going to do this up to the top, see where this yes. green area is by the trees. Yes. And then below L, B, and C, opposite the diagonal, yes. we have more space. And then following down, we also have some more green space. Does that mean that those areas would be open and uh, the community that attends could congregate in those areas? Yes, they very well could. They'd be further away from where the main activities are, but they could they could gather there. Okay, thank you. And Jim, if I could jump in real quick. The, uh, the, way, 
Yeah, the way this was set up is that the, the pavement, you know, the sidewalk you see there in the picture, people could walk, use the sidewalk to get to the sandwiches and the cookies and um, the, the tables where people may, like the, the Lake Baba Neighborhood Council tent, um, so that there, there's ADA access should somebody be using a wheelchair or a scooter. Um, and also, if the, the play structure was to be at our backs as people were speaking, because we were thinking of getting content with someone speaking, neighborhood council folks speaking, and then the, the playground would be in the background. So you'd have a more powerful image for our social media feed. Uh, and the grass area where that cookies bubble is kind of covering is kind of open, wide open, flat for people to, you know, uh, listen to speeches and, and, and meet their neighbors and things like that. Right. There's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of work on uh, on the landscape since this overhead photo was taken. Uh, they had tree people in there working and and uh, cleaning up. And so it uh, there's a lot. It's 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 opened up more. Let's put it that way. Nate, um, the community uh, that you live in, uh, would they be heartbroken if it did not happen on the 29th? Or do you think they would prefer to wait for a grand opening? I, I'm, I'm kind of torn on that because I think people are excited about it. There's just been more and more involvement and people stopping us when we're walking the dog saying, hey, we're excited about this opening and we did canvas the neighborhood and more and more people are getting involved. My concern is, is that excitement, I don't know what that would turn into as they bring their kids out and they're looking through a chain link fence at a really fun playground that they can't access. Um, so, you know, if, if we did it on the 29th, people would show up, they would be happy and grateful um, that the park is what it is as opposed to what it was three or four months ago. Um, through all the hard work of, of you know, everybody on this council and, and people in the community, but it's just tough to celebrate something that's locked up in a cage, you know, um, is, is my concern. And it seems a little strange also to have social media come and see the new playground right. <laughs> from a distance. And that's not going to look really positive on, I guess, the neighborhood council either. It, it's uh, a great image, except for the chain link fence around it, right? So yeah, yeah you're exactly right. Can I uh, Stacey, chime in? This is Dan. Oh, just a ahead. second, Stacy. Is your hand raised again, or is that from before? It's not an old hand; it's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Throwback from another whatever, but um. So if the event does proceed though, and the flyers are going to be recreated or redone, um, am I understanding, Jim, that there won't be tables, like the ta whatever the table situation was gonna be. So do we want to maybe, you know, inform families that restrooms won't be available in case they're bringing children? Do we want to inform them to bring picnic blankets because there won't be tables available? Yeah, they're not even gonna wanna come. I'm not sure how to answer that. Uh, there wasn't going to be a lot of table space, even when there, even when it was going to be theoretically finished. Uh, we don't, we don't really have the facilities to be giving tables and chairs to everyone who might attend. Um, there was going to be a lot of walking around. The food was not really, uh, the food items were not. Uh, it wasn't the type of item where you needed to sit at a table to eat it. It was more of a walk around conversation light refreshments i think Viana. right but for adults yes but not for families families aren't going to with children aren't going to be able to walk and hold a box of food and a cookie and their drink or whatever you know so i think it, at the very least if this does proceed it would be the right thing to do to let families know what isn't available so that they can come prepared if they so choose thank you danica couple of um, couple of thoughts from me um, when Jim mentioned about the donations may go away um, 
I've done several events in the past where we've had to push a date for different reasons and the donations have never gone away. If you just explain to the donor why, you know, like I'm sure if you explain to all the donors that you just want to wait until the park's completed, I'm sure they would be fine with it. I don't really foresee a problem with donations going away, to be honest with you. And then um, I'm just really concerned about, you know, having the opening and not having the park there because first impressions are everything, especially if we're gonna distribute the flyers to um, local elementary schools that maybe it may be the first time that they ever go to this park. And if it's not completed, they're not gonna come back. I'll tell you the truth, I'd be very surprised if 5% of people would give those flyers to ever show up anyway. Um, you, you, didn't, you haven't had the experience over the years of bringing flyers to schools and they go, oh, thank you very much, and then tossing them in the round file. That's happened. It worked for the movie in the park. Uh, I uh, think think about it. How many how many people came to movie the park as opposed to how many uh, flyers and stuff were put out? It's maybe about a five percent return. Uh, whatever. Was was that it, Danica? Um. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Five to ten percent, I'd say. Okay, Ruth. Well, I'm wondering if we are we going to vote to decide if it's going to go on or how, how are we going to proceed because we could keep discussing this for you know oh, forever, but we need to come to a conclusion and because uh, there's one more agenda item and it's you know, I'm going to stop screen sharing now. All right, thank you, Linda. So, how are we going to decide? Uh, I didn't put it on a voting item. All right. Well, yes, put, no, no. You put no, you did. possible yeah. action, discussion and possible action, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, it did. Hey, it, it on me. Folks, if you indulge me, it looks like we have one more hand raised. Jennifer, did you want to say something? I know she's uh, put a heck of a lot of work into this. Uh, if you want to make a comment. She's muted. I'm trying to fix that issue. I think I'm good now. Okay. Can, can you hear me? Thanks. Yes. I can hear you, Jennifer. Okay, sorry. I, I lost connections. I know you guys had unmuted me before. I had to take the dog out and come back in, so I dropped out. <laughs> um, I've been listening very intently, and I do appreciate everyone's concerns. Um, and I do, to be honest, I do want to vote if if that's a possibility, because as a community, I need to make sure that whatever I need to tell my neighbors, that I get that message out there right away. Um, I was scheduled to print my flyers for my community, you know, just out of my own pocket a couple weeks ago, but put it off. And then I want to distribute the flyers to my community this Sunday, and I have volunteers to help me walk them. So if I if we're pushing it, I need to know, and I need to be able to let my neighbors that are volunteering to help me also know. <laughs> so, um, but the, you know, the alternative as a picnic in the park, and I recognize that the bathrooms may not be done, the playground may not be done, but they also may be done. It's very nerve wracking because you don't wanna tell your community members, you just don't know. Um, so whatever the decision is, I respect it. And I thank you all for your work. And we will continue doing whatever we need to do to make sure this park gets done. Um, all right. Well, before we, uh, before we make a decision, uh, uh, Stacy's got her hand up. I just had a quick question about like protocol. I know that the funding has already been approved by the council, but the $4,000 is a considerable amount. And so my question is, given all of this, what's the protocol for, you know, do three people here get to decide whether this continues or 
does that go back to the board or should it go back to the board for a broader discussion? Just about protocol. Thank you, Linda. I know you're about to explain. Thank you. Well, committees only make recommendations. Um, and uh, there, as, as it stands right now, there's no scheduled meeting of the, of the full council between now and October 29th. Uh, that is not correct. We're going to be holding a special meeting either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday of this uh, week. Okay, I didn't know about that. And so, but I know the money has been approved. So if you guys are voting today, then it goes back to the board. Is, am I understanding correctly now from what Jim just said? It's not the money. It, the only thing that's changing would be what would be voted on. Yeah, this was... Uh, Meaning whether to continue to have the event or not. No. It depends uh, on what happens this evening. And whatever happens this evening will be brought forward if indeed it needs to be to LBNC. Thank you for clarifying. And and the date and the date is part of that thing of what's happening. So if we change the date, I have to we would have to go back to the LBNC, start all over again, bring it uh start with all the things we needed to do get new agreements with the vendors um uh start again unfortunately cd6 isn't here to talk to us but we'd have to talk to them about being our sponsor again because rec and parks won't give us a permit because rec and parks doesn't believe this this park should have permits the only reason they allow people on there is because they're willing to give CD6 a special permit. Yeah, so if, if I understand all that part that all the work anyway. But, yeah, I understand all that part. The, all the work has to be redone, which would be unfortunate. Yes, but I was all, asking all about the, uh, the protocol the, the, with back and forth with the board. So thank you. And the key thing For, is, and the key thing is we, uh, when we started this thing, it was an October 29th date, therefore, if you change it to October 30th, you've changed what you are planning to do. Therefore, you got to start all over. But it's not it's not that difficult because you've already primed the pump. It 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 goes through the process a lot faster. The most difficult you, part of it, the most difficult part of it is probably the fact that I can't get Wayne or anybody else over there to give me anything that even resembles a firm date. They won't even narrow it down to the month. They said, we're doing things all over the city. We really don't have time for Lake Balboa. That's what his words were to me today. Okay, so you can ask me to get involved and I'll take care of it. <laughs> Is that necessary? Apparently. So having said that, um, is this, is this like a recommendation of of the um, of the members of, of the voting members of this council, or is it a member of everyone who's here talking? Jim, you know the procedure. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, all right. We said, did anybody, have, anybody else have anything to add? Does anybody have a motion they would like to make? Well, Linda, Linda's got her hand up. Maybe she wants to make the motion. Based on, on all the back and forth and, and our conversations tonight and the timeliness of the event, the permits, and what we have planned for the community, uh, my suggestion is that we consider proceeding with the event and jim you made this as a soft what did you say uh it was the words that uh that the general manager gave me soft opening a soft okay that we would continue with a soft opening and continue with the uh, October 29th date. 
and confirm that with the neighborhood council at the uh, special meeting, which is uh, upcoming and to be scheduled. That isn't uh, very if, if somebody makes a motion to that if uh, that effect, uh, there's no need to go to the LBNC because the date's already been decided. So right now you're going to decide whether you want to continue that date or if you want to change that date. Okay. So somebody please make a motion and then we uh, can. I I have I have a comment before considering the motion. Is there a consideration with regard to LBNC and the event itself uh, as we are following proper protocol within the city of LA? There had been an issue in the past asking us a question about that. Rec and Parks reconfirmed the event at the September Rec and Parks meeting, reviewed the budget and shared information with all of the meetings present at that time. Yeah. And it was uh, unanimous that as of September at the Rec and Parks meeting that we continue with the project. So here we are in October. I do not know if that issue still exists, but I believe it should be made clear to uh, either Empower LA, to Empower LA actually, that whatever we do tonight is a reaffirmation of what was done and agreed upon at the September Rec and Parks meeting and that we go from there. Does anybody have a comment on that? You've confused me. I didn't understand it, to be quite honest. Okay. Uh, uh, we, we all know everything you said, so. Uh, yeah, okay, so oh. here's, the, here's the deal. Uh, Empower LA says that uh, perhaps we didn't expand on what we should have and been as informative as we should have as a council. How are you talking about the Brown Act violation? Yes, I am. And the okay, fact so that that, that will be has already addressed all of this in the past. So are we going we're going to proceed from here and bypass that and refer to it in a motion or just make sure it's in in the minutes or what um there's a way to cure that which i have been advised by the city attorney um so that will happen uh in the meantime there was meetings after that discussing the issues so that that still stands firm so there is no change to that. It's just that I need to do something when we have our next meeting, either special or regular, uh, to uh, do what I need to do to, quote, cure, unquote. OK. So you can do whatever you want this evening. I know that's around the bush, but I can't talk about it because we're going to vote on it. <laughs> Well, uh, so does somebody want to make a motion? Based on that, make a motion that you continue on, or you can make a motion that you postpone, one or the other. But make a make a motion, vote on it, and then the recommendation will either go forward or won't. I move that we keep the date of October 29th as previously identified by this committee. I'm going to second that. Jim? I vote yes. You're in charge. Oh. Um, Ruth? No. Linda Swearing? Yes. 
it's three as to long one. as this is uh, not only referencing keeping the date of October 29th, but making sure included is keeping the date of October 29th for the Jesse Owens Park event. Just to be clear. Yeah. Okay. Three to one. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. This has been extremely tiring uh, and trying. Um, one thing I said to Jennifer earlier today, I said, next time will be easier. Smiles. Yeah. Actually, it was only two to one. Only you voted and Linda Schwering voted. And I voted. And I voted. It's you two, right. you need a third, you need another vote. I mean, Nate didn't actually vote. He made the motion, but he didn't vote. Oh, didn't you vote, Nate? Oh. I vote, I vote yes. I thought my motion covered that, but no. No. Oh, no yes. I, I vote yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, Nate, Jim, and Linda S. is a yes. Ruth is a no. Right? Danica is not a voting member? Uh, no. Um, thank you. Thank you to everyone. Um, I will keep everyone informed. Every, everything. Okay, number six ready. on the agenda. Yeah. Oh, what number is that? Um, I got a, uh, Linda and I both got a call from um, Department of Neighborhood Empowerment from a gentleman, a stakeholder who lives over uh, in the, uh, along Victory between Woodley and Haskell. And he was uh, very, very upset about the um, homeless situation. I stayed on the phone with him for uh, several hours, trying to explain to him what had been done, what we were trying to do, why things were so slow, everything you can imagine. Um, I gave him all the information I could, uh, of course, for Jonah, et cetera. Uh, I said, we, we want to try and do something uh, on, in, because he re reached out to Neighborhood Empowerment I uh, went ahead and put this on the agenda thinking he might want to um, join us uh, since he was so concerned about that in a possible community cleanup along Victory Boulevard. Unfortunately, it seems that he's unable to attend. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm going to move this out because without Jonah here, I don't know whether there's something in the works or not. And I certainly don't want to step on Jonah's toes. Jonah does a wonderful, wonderful job, and I know he works very hard at it. So unless I, until I hear back from Jonah, I'm not going to move forward on that. But I put that on there hoping that that gentleman might attend and we could discuss it more. Okay, number uh, seven. Number seven, uh, public comments. I'm kind of commented out, but anyone? Okay. Um, thank you very much. And number eight is uh, board members and neighborhood watch block captains. Thank you for all you do for our community. Thank you for everything for, that everyone does for our community. And number nine, meeting adjourned. Uh, if there's any questions. At 809. Any questions you might have, you can always get to me uh, offline. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. See you on the 